Hi everyone, I'm back. Just closing the door. Now I have my um, uh, plexiglass prepared. I've mixed up the resin. And yes, I stir it quickly, but I don't think it's really a problem to stir quick or slow or whatever. We do torch the uh, air bubbles, so that shouldn't be a problem. Now, um, someone said, you know, you can do some beautiful uh, um, lighting behind a plexiglass pour, and then, uh, you know, it'll be beautiful. You'll see the uh, light come through. Oh, yeah, that was Lisa. I remember. So I'm uh, dividing up the, uh, the resin. Now, I'm going to uh, color it with uh, the Vallejo. So first, my favorite color. Someone uh, said, uh, why don't you just quit with the turquoise? It's, uh, you're always using turquoise. I, and I'm thinking, yeah, right, so <laughs> that's my favorite color. I like to do something, you know, in a color that really, that I like. So this is the first color. And then we are going to do color number two. There's going to be a lot of white in this one. So this is where I put in the white. There it goes. Nice and smooshy. That's color number two. I'll put them aside a little bit. Then I want a little bit of darker blue. Because I like how that works with the uh, with the teal color. So that's the darker blue. Then I'd like something like a little bit of brown. This is the brown. That's brown. Put that aside. And then we need one more color, and I don't know what color to do. <coughs> uh, I'll just do another color blue. I want a lot of blues, the white and the, uh, and the brown color. That'll look cool. okay. This is, um, let's see what number this is, 405. This is uh, Prussian blue, just a little bit of it, not too much. That's it. Now, I have some air, so I'm going to try that, canned air. And I have my glitter, which I'm going to be putting in there. I have my colors, I have my torch, just to be on the safe side, I bought a, a couple of new cans of air because they were on sale. That's the time you really want to buy them, right? Let's see. Do you have to get something off here first? I think so. Yeah, it works. So we have enough air, we have everything made up. See, I don't see any bubbles in there yet. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some white. And then I'm going to put some turquoise on both sides. Some in the middle. Some other blue. Then some darker blue. And then I will get my 
trusty little hair dryer. And I will start. Oops. Now that's a nice start, and I do want it to come back the color, the uh, turquoise, so I'll put that up here, and then come in again with the blue. Because I like when it goes over, over each other. It's kind of nice, like that. Then the darker color. That's that. I'm waiting with the uh, with the other color for uh, later on. Now. What I'm going to try is some of this Resi Blast. I'm going to put it on a little, a little stick and see what happens. Uh, that's kind of nice. See that? That is kind of cool. Okay, so that works. We know that that works. And now I have to have a little bit more power because I got to blow that stuff around a little bit. Nope, first got to do some more turquoise here. That's that. And some more white. That is beautiful, isn't it? That looks cool. But it has to do. This is only the uh, the first layer. Oh, that this doesn't work. Did you see what happened there? See how it's cooling down? That's what I thought it'd do. Let's try another one. Now, see that it cools the uh, it cools the resin. That's too much. We can't have that. So we have to warm it up again. Let's see the more.
Okay, that's about what I like there, but oops, got some stuff here, got some holes which I will fill. But before I do that, I've got to get this off. Don't know what that where that came from. There it goes. Now I see that uh, the disadvantage of using the Resi Blast on here with not enough um, resin is that you get the holes in it. But that doesn't matter, we can fix that. That's that. And of course this is a work in progress, I'm not going to be able to uh, fix it and do it in one go. I still will need to do some additional pour on top of here. Now what I fixed up was uh, 140 milliliters of resin for the first go, so I'll do the, exactly the same uh, tomorrow. I will make the same amount. Now let's see. looks kind of beautiful but what's missing here in the corner is a little bit of dark so that's what I'm putting in here that's that and maybe a little bit more let's see the, not the really dark blue but the medium blue color. Oh no, that is the dark. Okay, well, if we want it like that, we'll do it like that. That is kind of cool. And here I want some. There's a little hole here. That is okay. Let's see. Sometimes I do wish you'd have a little bit more time to play with this stuff before it turns all hard. But you can't have it all, right? So I'm needing a little bit more to cover it. fix it. A little bit turquoisey. This is just a little bit darker than the other one. That's it.
And what I'm doing now is really only filling in these um, <clears throat> the holes that the resi uh, blast left. Let's see, we have some more here. Okay, that's looking good. Now I would like to add a little bit of white just to give it a little a different color. That's about it. And I think I will come in with the glitter now too because otherwise we can't put a, a layer on top. more power. about what I really like. Now I need some new gloves. Because I thought, you know, by adding the, um, the glitter now, then tomorrow when I do my second layer, the glitter won't poke through anywhere. So what I like to do is Maybe not the holographic one. Let me try this one. And maybe I'll not put it all over the place, but sort of like it's exploding from the corner right here. Then uh, silver. Yes, and I have some really beautiful dark blue, and it's a little bit, um, well, how do you say it, a little coarser than the other one. So everything's more concentrated here, maybe just a tiny bit up here. That's about it. Not too much. You don't want the whole thing covered. Okay. I do want to do some other... See if I can get some... Get some cells moving here somewhere. There's one, a big one. Uh, 
yeah, they're forming really little ones. Let's put some on my glove. Might make it just a little bit easier to do. And uh, what I'm seeing now is that you really want to, when you do this, you want to do it straight out of the, uh, the, when you pour it. I think then it works best. There are here and there a couple of holes, cells, whatever. I'm trying to get it up in the corners. That's it. That will work. So this. I want to make sure that it's totally to the edge. Oh, you can't really see the colors, can you? Oh, yes, you can. I'll take you down in a bit. Well, you can see here that the resi is uh, doing its thing. And tomorrow I'm going to do some color here, but uh, I'm going to try to um, do a, a thin transparent layer over it. I do kind of like the, uh, the effects it gives. Maybe a little bit more. that again look at that I don't know how that stuff gets in there really I don't I want that thing out that's it I got it okay a little made a little mess here we'll fix that tomorrow <laughs> but this is kind of nice I do like what this is doing so that's what I'm planning on doing so Everything with the holes, I'll put some color in, and then this, I want this transparent, and I'm going to go along with this because of uh, how it looks. So a little bit more Resi Blast. I love this. I li I really do. Let's try to make a row next to it. kind of cute. Now it looks like there's a, some sort of a fossil that, you know, just dried up in this this beautiful pour. Now I want to do something here a little bit bigger and on this side. That's cool. That's it. This has a lot of possibilities, this thing. 
I might even uh, save one of my uh, other ones for uh, doing something just like this. Doing a background and then coming in with the Resi Blast. I don't even mind that it's, um, as you can see, it's going straight through. So as long as it doesn't, you know, really push it all away. Because if you put a light behind it, that's where it's going to come through. So that's going to be really awesome. Don't know if I'm going to do that, though. We'll see. But I like how this turned out so far. So tomorrow I'll finish it. I am going to put it up on YouTube. We'll have a part one and a part two. And um, that's what we're going to do. So before I do anything else, I want to show you the other one where I put the second layer on. Here it is. See that? It is in the tent. And it is really, really looking cool. Better than it has been. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you guys for watching. That was a long, long, long video today. There's the mess. But this is so looking cool. Look at that. This is going to be really, really beautiful once it's uh, finished. Can you see all the... Uh, it's like, like a fossil. Do you get what I'm uh, <laughs> trying to say? I hope so. That's cool. So uh, that's the the start. That's part one. And I'll show you part two tomorrow. So have a beautiful Saturday evening. I love you all to pieces. And see you all in the next video. That will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.